Lightning action figure. The fans are just arriving, by the way. It's about uh, 9.30 now. Chris, tell me what you need. Can I get a signature on this? And I also want to get one of those pins that you got. Yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, you already saw the advertising. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Oh, should I sign it? Right a anywhere you want. Let's... I want to find a good spot. Something a little bigger. Let's see. Where are, you, where are you from, by the way? Pasadena. Oh, you're right here yeah. in Pasadena. Yeah. Yeah. God. That's great. That's great. So you saw the uh, the ads. Oh, yeah. I was so surprised. I was like, what? No way. He's actually doing a convention? This is so cool. Right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I'm so it. glad. Chris. Thank you very much. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much. Sweet. I greatly appreciate Chris. it. He's a big fan of Big Trouble and Lightning. Oh, yeah. And uh, he's living here in LA. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to, to, to meet him again. We're That's gonna set up a time for coffee. All right? And what's your name? Mike. Mike. Terrific. Mike. I was right here for you, all right? You got it. Uh, yes. I give you a free software. You have it, so you can keep it and then you can. Uh, so that you can put it on your own social website. Yeah. Yeah. Here's Mike, our new fan here in LA. Look at the autograph. Here, Mike. James Pax like that. Yeah. All right. Oh, you want me to put your name on it? Yeah. Oh, no, no. no. See, I know that the show you want me to do it here or? Uh, do on the front. I was thinking like a story writer talking about feeling. When they open the cards, they don't know. Perfect. You like that? Oh, that's great. Thank you oh, so much. Can I get a photo as well? That's yeah. Amazing. You got a free uh, selfie with me together. What's Thank you name? so much, Chris. Chris, our new fan here with Big Trouble <laughs> in LA. Look at this beautiful, what is this, DVD? A uh, Blu-ray. A Blu-ray. <laughs> just signed my uh, name on it. Ray, join our fan club. Okay? So Absolutely. We're going to see a lot of new things. Mm -hmm. This is going to be my next big movie. I'm director, producer, and actor. Oh, very uh, cool. Tiger Cat. It's all about Shaolin Kung Fu. That's great. All right? Mm -hmm. So that you know. What's your name? Richard. Richard. Richard what? Uh, Rangel. Rangel. Yeah. Well, Richard Rangel is one of our old loyal fans. Absolutely. He just came up and said hello to me. Tell us about the, uh, the, the, the poster you got from Jenny. Oh, I love it. It has everyone's signatures. It's, it's a great pose. It has for you guys in action. It's, it's awesome. And, and Jenny already sent it back to you. Uh, yeah, I already have it. It's at home. It's framed with the rest of my collection. Oh my God. Uh, and I met you a while back. At I was it in... Uh, oh, next door. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was here six years ago. Yeah, that's where I That was a long time ago. Yeah, a long time <laughs> Man, fan. you got good memory. <laughs> Absolutely. Long time fan. There you go. You see, American. fans all over the world, and he even remember that I was here six years ago. That yeah. was the last time I did the Comic-Con here. Let me see if I have a picture. Did you? Yeah, I took a picture. Amazing. Amazing. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, that's right. You sent me this picture yeah, before. Yeah, I remember. Sent it to you, yeah. Look at that one. I finally met you in person. Yeah. Perfect, man. Oh my God. Perfect. 
so glad to see you. Good to see you here. You're going to be all over <laughs> on our, cha on our channel. We're Perfect. posting you next week. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. So good to see you again. Okay. You have a good one. Watch out for this. This is going to be my next big movie. I'm directing Shadow oh, Warrior 7. Yeah, I think I've seen you posting like information That's and all right. that. We're making a TV series this this summer. It will be airing in the fall. Oh, okay, cool. This is gonna be big. Oh, so watch out! Right on. Thank you again. <laughs> it's amazing, right? We already ordered it, and we met just now. And actually, you remember me from six years ago. <laughs> That's what a good loyal fan is about, right? I'm so happy. I met meeting all these new and old fans. Terrific. Oh my god, let me see. Oh, wow, giant poster. Wait, we are on the camera. Maybe you want to show it. What's your name? Ian. This is Ian, a big fan of Big Trouble in China. And look at the poster he brought for me. How large is this size? Uh, 36, 36. Oh my god, you already have what? Low pan? Yeah. And uh, who else? Kurt. Kurt? Oh, wow. Oh, really? Well, uh, carpenter, carpenter. Uh, Struzan, the artist. Wow, amazing, yeah. amazing. Let me sign it on. Let me sign yeah. it. I noticed yeah. that's not you that's holding not some lightning. But What's okay. going on? Uh, <laughs> if this is supposed to be uh, the, the rain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you know what? It's got lightning on it, so I just signed right here. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll sign right here. Oh, this pen is good. It really stood out. Thank you so much. Oh, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let me give you my my, uh, my chat room. This is my own chat room. Okay. Have to join awesome. Because I have my new movie coming out. That's the one. Oh, ah, sweet. I'm the director. I'm the main actor. And I'm, uh, and I'm also the uh, screenwriter. Awesome. Awesome. Top American stars are the star name. Awesome. I'm really talking to you. I like that. Oh, sweet. Sweet. You got something for the first one? No. Sweet. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah. I probably haven't done a comic comic all in the six years. And I'm just amazed how many fans, new and old fans, showing up and getting the autograph and, and bringing their own posters. And, Action figures for me to sign. I'm so glad I'm back in LA and doing more Comic Con here in America. And hopefully, I'll be going to UK soon. My good friend Richard, uh, he's helping me to get uh, the private signing organized in Wales. And then we're probably going to be uh, touring in London and other cities. On top of that, he is uh, getting connected with the bathtub. BAFTA, which is a British film kind of a you know film academy, and uh, we might be teaming up to do some kung fu demonstrations together. All right, so I'm waiting for the good news from uh, Richard, and if we ever get it all organized with BAFTA for a kung fu demonstration and all that signing, I will let you know. So stay tuned. Don't go away. Now. James Pax from Big Trouble Road, China, right here around 10:30 uh, a.m. in LA. Uh, it's the uh, Lobo, uh, what's it called? Robot Toy Festival. Robot Toy Festival. And I'm sitting here waiting for all the fans to arrive. We're just getting started. And I'm really having a good time. Talk to you later. Don't go away. How are you guys doing today? This is your boy Mike Fallon with another episode of The Buttery Show. I'm dropping in today from Sister Cinema to do a collab with the channel. Uh, we are here at Robo, to Robo, Robo Toy Fest 2022. Sorry for my English, guys. I'm here with living legend James Pax. How you doing today, brother? Always good, always good. Yeah. I'm pretty good. Yeah, I'm out here at the Robo Toy Festival. You know, it's my uh, first time back in the USA. In the last seven years, I was been away in Asia, but now I'm back for good, and I'm glad to meet you here. Yeah, you, like me, me too, bro. Yeah. Like, for everybody that that's not familiar, this man right here is one was probably one of the most penultimate films in cinema history, in my opinion. Now, with Big Trouble in Little China, I, I mean, I ain't got to tell you because you were in the film. For those that aren't as hip to the game, it was one of the first ever like major films with like a major Asian cast. 
that weren't stereotypical and were actually on the forefront of the story. So I have a question. After all these decades, how does it feel to, to, to still see the relevance of the film and seeing, seeing how the fan base will not go away and just keeps growing and growing? You're very right about that. I was amazed myself. It's been 35 years since the film was first made. I believe it was in 86, mm -hmm. you know, with John Carpenter and, and uh, Kurt Russell. But the fan base just kept on growing. And only last year, I decided to start my own uh, a fan club. It's called The Lightning of Big Trouble in Little China fan club mm -hmm. and ever since I'm getting more and more fans around the world I even have my own memorabilia website and everything just because of the support uh, from the fans you are very right this is the first ever Hollywood made Kung Fu action movie and John Carpenter I gotta tip my head for him he is the ultimate director that really introduces Chinese Kung Fu into the American movie making. I think he's just as important as Bruce because Bruce is the one that raised the level of Chinese Kung Fu yeah. and the level of the Chinese race to the attention of the entire world back in the 80s. And John Carpenter just carried on that tradition and that legendary a Chinese Kung Fu, yeah. you know, that Bruce have left off yeah. and John picked it up and made this historical movie, Big Trouble in Little China, because back then nobody believed that a white director like John would be able to come up with a movie like that. Yeah. And it was legendary, the story was original, and it was funny, it was full of action, but one thing, there is no violence. It's all fun action with no violence, that's what I love about it, yeah. you know. And so therefore, Till today, the kids, the adults, even the new uh, teenager and the kids today, they can watch it because their parents say, you got to watch this movie because it's so healthy and so much fun, you know? Yeah, well, the reason, I, I mean, and you can, you know, you can correct me or add on to what I'm saying here. I feel, based on what you're saying as well, if you, if you look at the film objectively, it was like the first, one of the first major Hollywood films that started to end the racial stereotyping of Asian characters and actually started making more Asian actors look as equals and not just a stereotype because there's been like, there was like too much um, stereotypical representation, like breakfast at Tiffany's and stuff of that nature, which was this negative and, and try to put uh, Asian characters in a box. But with Big Trouble Little China, from like my experience and people I've talked to, they feel it was like one of the first films where like they felt like actual 3D characters and not one note people that are uh, not, not like one note characters that just filled up space and and so when it came to the heroes and villain side so how do you feel about that that aspect of it I, I, I definitely think that Big Trouble serves that purpose the the good guys the white guy Kurt Russell plays and yet the Asian guy they have a sidekick that's played play, play by Asian guy and then the bad guys are me Carter Wong and Peter Kwan yeah. you know and we actually don't have much say in the movie and yet we become the legendary storms you know which is just amazing the way he he and the writer created all these Asian characters easily memorable mem memorable and also and and the good thing is I didn't even have a line in the whole movie you know when I first took the job I was asking my agent hey you know what I mean uh, I'm amazed that there's no line in the lightning character, but my agent said, you got to take this because John is directing it. So then I did it without really knowing how big this movie is going to be. But comparing Big Trouble to a lot of the, uh, the new TV series uh, like uh, the Warriors or the Kung Fu, which I think they're all good you know, for their own purpose, and it actually really opens up the field now. Now the Asians are becoming uh, uh, more prominent in the society, in the American society, and yet also the Asian uh, audience are supporting it, yeah. watching it. Uh, recently, I, one great example, I went to see a movie called uh, uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. Man, bro, you're preaching to the choir. I love that movie. You love that movie. Wow, yeah. that's great. I went to see it with a friend of mine, and uh, it definitely is different. And that just proves that a movie can be what it is with all the Asian cast. You know, Michelle Yeoh is probably the biggest 
actress right now, and with uh, Jamie Lee Curtis, yep. you know, and a couple of other Asian characters. Very small cast, and yet it did already 40 million domestic in the box office. Mm. That just proves that Hollywood movie don't always have to be made with just black and white, or the Latino. It can be just an all Asian cast or a mixed cast, yes. which I think is the best. Because later I will tell you more about this. It's called the Shaolin Warrior Seven, and this is just a comic book cover. But I am looking to make it into a TV series. So this is going to be my next big project. Of course, Big Trouble started my career, and my next big project is going to be Shaolin Warrior Seven. Well, I mean. You know, when it when it comes to trajectory of how things work, I mean, from what can be seen and tracked, it's really like Big Trouble in China, like basically had a crawl for everything else after you guys to run, because it's like I mean, it's been said online and people know what I'm talking about. Referring is that your character it was felt to be the inspiration for Raiden from Mortal Kombat, and then from there we beget other franchises after that to where now we're with Shang Chi, and it's just like this whole. This whole time gap from like from from the from Big Trouble in China to now can all be tracked back to how representation, like you're saying, is important. But how this it's like you guys were the trailblazers. You you set the path for everybody else to come through to where we get everything like everything everywhere all at once. But basically, all are in your guys's you know uh, not trajectory, but like basically the, like in your trail of like what you guys they set forth for everybody to follow. Yeah, I I definitely think you know Big Trouble did that. And now the uh, everything everywhere, the Shang Chi,、mm. and probably the next one is going to be Shaolin Warriors.、Mm. So, what's Shaolin Warriors、uh, like? The concept and the synopsis of it. Okay. Well, Shaolin Warriors is definitely Chinese mythical story based on historical facts, all about Shaolin Temple warriors.、Mm. But this time, it's not going to be just Chinese. It's going to be five Chinese and two Americans.、Mm. And which is going to be a feature movie, but on top of that, we also have a TV pilot、uh, that we are looking to shoot sometime this year, and hopefully, will be start airing、uh, by fall.、Mm. I can't really talk too much about it, but it will bring back the memory of what Bruce Lee had left off: the real Chinese kung fu, the real Chinese kung fu, Wing Chun to Shaolin warriors, all different style animal kung fu.、Huh? And all of that will be brought back to the big and small screens、mm. with the best Asian、um, Asian actors from China and also the best American actors. There will be at least two prominent American actors that's going to be involved playing one of the seven warriors.、Yeah. And I'm the director, I'm the producer.、Yeah. I wrote it, and I will be、uh, directing it. And hopefully, we'll get a lot of、uh, Hollywood. Actors, black and white, everybody, Caucasians and you know African Americans, to be involved in it because I always believe in embracing each other with no racial difference. That everybody is on the same platform. If we all work together and love each other and support each other, we'll have a better world to live. Man, right? Yeah. Then there's no racial difference, no racial hate, and 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 all of that. Really, I believe. And what I believe in is you using traditional Chinese Shaolin Kung Fu against violence. I believe there's just too much violence now in America, you know, and we need something different. So I want to create a show that is about action Kung Fu against violence, and these warriors are going to save the world from peril, from terrorists and many other things. And that's what I advocate: is peace to the world with kung fu, with a positive mes- message that everyone should be working together as one. I, I mean, you said it, it, it can't be better said than how you stated it. So I just want to say thank you for your time, sir. Thank you. Like genuinely, like 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 what you and John and everybody else did has just been so impactful. And it's like we wouldn't have what we have today without people like you. So I just want to, I just want to, like the like saying goes, I want to give you your flowers while you're here. Thank you, Thank for you. sure. Thank you. So, and where can people find you online and and, and all your and all your social media? Yeah, right. Actually, I have my own fan club. It's very simple. Lightning of Big Trouble in Little China. 
James Pax, and that is my uh, fan chat room. And I also have a uh, Instagram, just James Pax underscore Lightning. And then I have a podcast called Kung Fu Legends by James Pax. That's on YouTube, in which I interview all the top Asian uh, uh, actors, Kung Fu actors, including the one that we just talked about, Kung Fu Hustle, Chu Chi Ling. The ring guy, remember he has eight different rings, you know, on his arms. First one woo. No, uh, that's right. That was what, 15, 20 years ago, yeah. but now he's in his 80s. He just came on my show and I interviewed him on Kung Fu Legends, so you got to turn on, find it, and, and, uh, and uh, find him there. And I'm going to be introducing many new upcoming action stars, like from Thailand, Simon Cook. He's going to be the next Tony Ja. And he's going to be in Shaolin Warriors as well. Sen Gao is an American Chinese from China. Yeah. He's three times All-American Karate Champion and many, many others. And of course, we're looking to invite Jason Scott Lee to be on our show as well. So you got to follow it since I know you, you like so much about Kung Fu. Oh, you, you damn skippy. All right, guys, this is Mike. Uh, thank you for enjoying this episode of The Buttery Show. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.